Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday edition of Mr. Eric Reads on a very, very special day because, as you well know, it is Mother's Day. So I would take a moment to thank my mother, um, Elaine. Thank you so much for everything that you have taught me um, and given to me and shown me uh, throughout my years of life on, on here on this earth. Um, thank you to my wife, Mrs. Eric Reads, um, for becoming a mother to our children and for everything that she does for them. And I picked a book specifically today that I think is a lesson that all of our mothers, especially mine, have taught me. Um, it's a book by Jory John, and it's called It's Not My Fault. So, on this happy Mother's Day edition of Mr. Eric Reads, please sit back. Well, actually, go hug your mom or whoever's raising you. Give her a hug. Thank her for what she's done. And then come back and watch this book right here on Mr. Eric Reads. Why is your homework messy? It's not my fault. I blame my pen. Why can't I read these test answers? I blame my pen. Uh, why is your assignment so late? Um, I blame my pen. Why is there mud all over this carpet? It's not my fault. I blame my shoes. Who tracked all these leaves in here? I blame my shoes. Why are there footprints on the wall? I told you, I blame my shoes. Messy hair, I blame my comb. Messy face, I blame my soap. Gunk in my teeth, I blame my toothbrush. Missing homework, well, I blame my backpack. Unmade bed, yeah, I blame my pillows and my sheets and my comforter. We know where this is going. <laughs> Why are you up so late? I blame the moon. What? Well, I think I figured it all out. You just blame other stuff. This is easy. Psst. Hey, kid. I, I, kid. What's that? Hello, it's I, your trusty pen. I am here with an important message for you. So listen, I know you think you figured out how life works, but uh, let me tell you this. You surely haven't. See, here's the thing. Blaming everything but yourself, never taking responsibility for your actions, and pointing out a guilty quaking finger whenever you've done something wrong? Well, kid, that's a sham. Deep in your heart, you know this. Did your humble shoes really deserve all the blame for the mud and for the leaves and for that footprint on your wall? And I ask you, did your poor backpack deserve 100% of the blame for losing homework you should have been more careful with, huh? Was it really your backpack's fault, huh? No way. I'm not done yet. Calm down, dear backpack, huh? See, I've got this. See, listen to me now, kid. Your bed was messy, not because of the covers, not because of your pillows, but because you refused to make it, even though it takes less than two minutes, okay? See, your face was muddy because you played in a puddle, not because of any deficiency in your soap products. You had gunk in your teeth because you insist on eating junk, and you don't floss afterwards. There's only so much a toothbrush can do, and blaming the moon when you stay up late literally makes no sense at all, and you know this. Yeah. So I will just simply add, if you continue to blame everything around you for all the things that you do, we won't want to be your friend anymore. We won't want to spend time with you. And that thought breaks my heart because, well, I know you're mostly a good kid yeah, with mostly good intentions. Whoa, 
I have pretty weird dreams. I guess I blame my brain for that. Why can't I read your writing? Oh, wait, let me guess. You blame your pen. Exactly. W wait, wait. No, no, I don't blame my pen. At least not totally. After all, I held the pen. I controlled the pen. I'd say we share the blame 70-30. Maybe 80-20. I blame, well, I mostly blame me. Oh, wow. Well, I was not, uh, that's not what I expected to hear from you. And while I'm at it, I no longer blame my shoes, my backpack, my comb, my pillows, my sheets, my comforter, my soap, my toothbrush, and the moon. These are all simply inanimate objects, at least most of the time, who took the blame while I got away with everything. I'd like to take this moment to apologize to them, too. And I'm tired of blaming literally everything and everyone except myself. I will try to do better, starting now. And with that said, I will get back to work on this math. Oops. Um. Oh, no, ink. Oh, ink. Oh, so much ink. All right, now go ahead. Blame it. Go ahead and blame your pen. Do it. This is the perfect opportunity. I, I, I can't. I can't do it. I probably didn't take good enough care of this pen. I blame myself. Well, I am impressed. Now, please clean up this ink. It's everywhere. Psst. Hey, Pen. Were you testing me? It seems like a test. Uh, did I pass? You have to admit, that one was sort of your fault, Pen. <laughs> <sighs> Weird day, but it's not my fault. Oh gosh, I guess we just give up. The end. That was It's Not My Fault by Jory John on a Mother's Day edition of Mysterio Creeds. Again, thank you to my mom for teaching me to take responsibility when I mess up and for teaching me how to apologize and for teaching me how to make it better in the future. Again, guys, please go hug your mom, your grandma, your aunt, whoever raises you because it is a job in and of itself. Thank you to all of the mothers out there for all that you do, whether you are a stepmom, a birth mom, or whatever. If you are raising that child, we appreciate everything that you're doing. Again, please enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Treat your moms nicely. Stay safe and healthy, guys. Wash your hands. Practice kindness in everything that you do. Read every day. And until tomorrow, this is Mr. Eric signing off.